Ever notice when lots of women like something, that thing gets a bad rap? This isn't by accident. Today, I'm going to break down this implicit, ingrained sexism with three examples. Rosé, fan fiction, and celebrity culture, specifically Harry Styles for US audiences and Xiao Zhen for Chinese viewers. First, you need a little vocabulary on fan culture. Curatorial fandom is based on knowledge collection and analysis, like memorizing baseball stats or scrutinizing every skirmish in Game of Thrones. This type of fan culture is heavily male-dominated and generally accepted and even celebrated. Transformational fandom, on the other hand, is based on creating derivative material from the source works, like fan art and fan fiction. This tends to skew non-male, more queer, and is generally ridiculed in pop culture. But here's the thing. Transformational fandom is all around us. We just don't call it that when it's created by men. Did you enjoy The Dark Knight? That was Christopher Nolan's Batman fan video. Maybe you went to sleep no more? That's immersive Macbeth fan fiction. Every remake, reimagination, inspired by story is transformational fandom, even Shakespeare. Okay, so this isn't super new fandom discourse, so let me get to my main point. Food and beverage is also a fandom, and it absolutely and consistently treats male preferences and tastes as superior and more worthwhile. This is probably best captured with the rise and backlash to Rosé. I'm going to read a lot of passage from this piece written by one of my favorite writers, Jaya Saxena. When men enjoy something, they elevate it. But when women enjoy something, they ruin it. When something women like blows up, we judge women for falling for marketing or trying to jump on the bandwagon. We assume that because they like something other women like, they don't have minds of their own. But when men get into women's trends, they legitimize them. Male rosé drinkers have transformed it from being seen as an object of revulsion and gender disdain, as GQ wrote, to something that men are happy to be seen drinking. The case of rosé isn't an isolated incident. All this derision about what women like is about gaslighting us to believe that our natural response to the world is fundamentally questionable unless verified by men. And we as a society, including women, amplify this message because we are very afraid. Which brings me to celebrity culture. For those unfamiliar, Harry Styles is kind of a big star here. In fact, he once vomited along the side of the highway and within two hours, fans had constructed a shrine of it. As Eve Blake said so eloquently in her TEDx, For the Love of Fangirls, that takes some executive skills in communication and logistics. And that's just the thing. Women are incredibly powerful, resourceful, and perhaps most frighteningly, collaborative. Cut to Xiao Zhan. He's a comparable celebrity to Styles in China, and in 2020, he got wrapped up in this big scandal that wasn't really his fault. After months of being out of the public eye, he had this big comeback performance. His fans promised to bring him the red ocean because his fan color is red, and immediately all fan lights and banners were banned from the stadium. And yet when he took the stage, this is what it looked like. If that's not a flex, I don't know what it is. Thousands of his fans infiltrated the stadium to do this at their own personal risk. For many, no security in the world could stop them from celebrating someone that brought them joy. And that's what this ultimately all comes down to. Holding space for women to find and relish in something is antithetical to societal norms as we know it. Just consider the fact that female sex toys were banned from the New York City subway for literal years because the idea of women enjoying themselves without men was deeply discomforting to us. The internalized misogyny that we have towards anything categorized as something girls and women enjoy is pervasive, from knitting to the WNBA to liking cats. And changing that will require all of us to engage in some serious self-reflection and commit to doing better.